so um, now I will show the high level diagram of our proposed approach that how I'm going to implement the system so uh, the whole system can be divided into two part first part is training and validation and in second part I will do the testing so in first part I will take the input images and then I will do some pre-processing so pre-processing means uh, when I have the raw images I see that somebody is having tilted head somebody is having a white background and maybe somebody else is uh, standing very close to the camera so it's very important to have everybody in the same page or having the same standards that's why we need some pre-processing and what I will do is uh, every time I take an input image I will do the face detection then I will do alignment so that everybody's eyes nose lips are in the same line then I will do a masking to get rid of extra points for example if somebody is having uh, hair in his forehead or uh, somebody uh, has um, some uh, earrings or something in her ear I, I should not consider that so I will do um, some masking using an elliptical mask to get rid of those extra area then when I'm done with the pre-processing I'll start doing the training and for training I will start with a simple architecture and then I will keep uh, playing with the parameters and see how I'm getting the training accuracy and validation accuracy once I find a good accuracy I will understand that my training has been done and then I'll save the model now once I'm done with the training step I will go back to the um, testing stage so in testing stage I will have some query images for testing uh, they have to go through the same pre-processing again now I will use the train model from last stage and using that I'll do the classification and then I will see the outputs that the query image belongs to which class or showing uh, relevance uh, to which input image so I will go through very uh, the details of the system now like uh, stepwise so in first step I have to select a database so I chose a subset of FRGC data set because it's a publicly available data set plus it's good to have multiple raw digital images when we do the training so I found that in this data set there were at least 466 uh, 466 people who had uh, uh, four clean or raw digital images as uh, you can see here that means number of classes is 466 and number of raw or digital sample per class is four so the next step is image processing so uh, first I will do face detection so I use a uh, DLIPS face detector uh, that's a very good one and it's a an already trained model I cited the work for DLIP in the final project report so if you are interested you can go to that report and uh, get the link and see how DLIP works for face detection so what it does is it mainly looks for 68 facial landmarks or important points from a person's face and when those 68 points are found it just crops that uh, face and uh, is doing the alignment based on those two uh, ba based on those uh, 68 landmarks so these are the original raw images and after face detection and face cropping and alignment these are the results I got from this people and uh, there can be difference in el uh, illumination uh, and light and shadow so many things can be happening uh, to the uh, person's image so it's uh, very important to do normalization so that everybody is having the same intensity and that's why I did normalization in uh, this stage and after that I use an elliptical mask and I just did uh, bitwise end with this image and the elliptical image to get this kind of uh, image so that we can only have only those uh, area which is uh, important for classification I got rid of this ear, his snake and all other surroundings which we don't want so we are just keeping the important things for training 
so the next step is building a large database now why we have to build a large database because uh, any CNN model is trained better if there are larger number of samples per class because if uh, I provide very low number of samples it may not learn the important features that's why we should have a large number of features so initially I showed that there were only four samples per class so what I did was I generated uh, 227 new synthetic samples by coding so in total uh, I uh, had uh, 228 images like uh, one is the raw image and from one raw image I created 227 number of new images so in total for 466 classes I came up with 106,248 uh, samples now how I created those synthetic samples so uh, I use Python there is something called image uh, augmentation in Keras uh, you can use that but I didn't use that I did that manually and I used some blurring sharpening blockening uh, in my code to create uh, multiple synthetic faces from one raw face for example if this is the raw face image I sometimes I'm blurring uh, his left region or his uh, lips or his eyes or his nose, uh, nose area and sometimes I'm doing sharpening or blurring also so I just kept some uh, samples uh, of the synthetic images but in total there were total 228 uh, synthetic images for one person and that's how I built a very large data set now once I'm done with building the large data set now I have to build the CNN architecture which will be used for training and just validation uh, initially so uh, 